Determine whether the operator defined by FF equals ln of f is linear or nonlinear. So when I'm given some function um, and I take the logarithm of that function, that's my operator taking the logarithm of whatever it is that I'm given. Is this linear or nonlinear? Well, let's see. Again, we need to show, and I think uh, until you sort of get accustomed to this, it's good to write out what the criterion is. So we need to show that a of f plus g, the definition in other words, equals a of f plus a of g, and we need to show that a of c of f is equal to c times a of f. Okay, well let's go ahead and do a of f plus g is equal to the natural logarithm of f plus g. Well, let's see. Um, a of f plus a of g is equal to the natural logarithm of f plus the natural logarithm of g. This and this do not equal each other. Okay, They do not equal each other. Okay, so now let's go ahead. At this point, we can stop. It's nonlinear. However, let's go ahead and do the other one. So we have a of c of f equals the natural logarithm of c of f. And, oops, go ahead and put a little caret there. C of A of F. Uh, let's see, C of A of F. You know what? I can probably do a little bit more with this one. Um, logarithm of something times something. Uh, let's go ahead and expand it just, just for the hell of it. This is going to be equal to the logarithm of C plus the logarithm of F. So we'll go ahead and leave that one. And now we'll do C of A of F. That's equal to c times the natural logarithm of f. Okay, this and this, they are not equal. This is not a linear operator. Not a linear operator. Okay, so we've introduced the Schrodinger equation. We've introduced the notion of operators, which is profoundly important in quantum mechanics. and. Um, We'll go ahead and close this lesson off like this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time.